So for this first part, I just want to show you how you can um, really easily get students connected on Class Dojo. So the student web page for login for Class Dojo is dojo.me. So I just put in my Google Classroom a link to dojo.me so that students could go into Google Classroom and click on the link. Um, when they open it up, they'll see an option for how to log in. So they'll see either to scan a QR code, enter a text code, or sign in with Google. I actually haven't tried sign in with Google. Um, <laughs> a lot of my students don't know their, like how to type their passwords, and, or sorry, their usernames or passwords. Um, so I didn't want to bother with it. And entering the text code is actually super easy. So if I choose that one, I'm just, um, the students will just type in the text code right here into their login page and it will take them to their page. It's so, so easy. Um, <clears throat> from the teacher's perspective, when I'm inside Class Dojo, in order to find the text code for students, I go to student login. I click on classroom um, login instructions and it will ask me which method I want for my students to use just like it will ask which students which method they want to use. So I'll click, I want them to enter the text code and that's where I find the text code. So I just screen shared this with my students so that they could use it. Um, and I'll also a lot of my students wrote it down. I had them write it on their whiteboards and then log in. So now I'm gonna show you from a student's perspective what it looks like to log in. So I'm on my classroom, Plus Google Classroom page, um, I'm gonna click on my Class Dojo login and it's gonna take me to Class Dojo for students. Um, mine is automatically logged in, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna say, this is um, not me. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what a student will see. They'll see how to enter your class and you want them to enter the class text code. Right, so they'll click on this and then they'll enter in the code that I just had up. So again, I would show that to them, M-X-A-T-U-E, and they would type that in, M-X-A-T-U-E, and it automatically shows them the class list. Um, so I, Miss Moda and I have a practice one that we were using. So Miss Moda Test is the very clever name of my fake student that I use um, and that Miss Moda has used to help families. So I'm going to click on the fake student and this is what it looks like from the student's perspective. So they can see what assignments I've given them or given back to them that they need to fix. They can see the class stories kind of like a Facebook wall so they can see um, the pictures I've posted, they can see um, the messages I've posted, they can see the celebrations I've posted, that's all on the class wall, which I'll show you later. Um, they can also edit their dojo, so they can, you know, make it a different color, they can make it a different monster, um, that's their avatar, so they can mess around with that. They can send me a journal. Um, my sweet Autumn Jimenez Langen likes to send me I love school, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, so she might send something like that. She might type it, and then when they click hand it in, I will receive it. Um, they can also go to their portfolio. Their portfolio is where all of their work that I send them on Class Dojo is stored. So, for example, they can see things they still need to do, but they can also see what they've already done. So they can see. Um, the journal entry they just sent me. They can see the reflection they did um, or any assignments. Since this is a test one, there's not any assignments in there, but I'll also show you more of that later. Um, so this is the student's side. They can also take a photo, a video, they can draw um, and send pictures in to me and etc. So then um, I'll show more of that later. But as a reminder, to get students logged in, you go to class instructions, you choose enter text code and then confirm text code sign in. And then you'll see the text code and you'll have students type it in when they are logging in on dojo.me. So, anyways, that is a very, um, brief and well not brief that's a very long-winded explanation of how to get students in to 
Class Dojo. And I'll try to add some slides with steps as well, but I just wanted to explain it and show my thought process um, to try to make it super clear.